So she's been on it, but I see. Okay, I think I'm live. I believe I'm already live. It says live two minutes. Interesting. I'm already live. Okay. I've got brand new camera angles. I'm using Yardstream, as you can probably see their logo. I'm going to be doing some unboxings. And tell me if the angle is too weird, if not enough lighting, blah, blah, blah. Just let me know. Um, no. I can't really see anything. Já tá vendo? Não abre. Não abre o YouTube ou quê? Não abre, fica carregando. Vai, fica de novo. É, é, tentar de novo. Só so, fica o, o circulozinho de carregando. These are the things that I'm going to be doing unboxings on. So. Let's see. Unboxing knife. I'm always misplacing the unboxing knife. Uh, it's down here. Yep, yeah, here it is. Okay. Unboxing knife. No. Is this Queen of the Queen of the Ghouls or something, right? Ghoul Queen. Ghoul Queen, I think it's called. And where is the convite here? Para eu aparecer. Uh, você precisa seleção entrar o live stream. Já estou na live. Vou até escrever. Ó. Okay. Invite. Here we go. Invite. Estou aqui. Okay. Invite guests to the broadcast studio. Copy to clipboard? Really? Amor, não tem, não tem opção é, é, participar do chat para mim, não? Então, olha, olha, clique, yeah. esse link. Okay, okay, so I posted the link. I think that's how you join. Uh, let's see if this is working. Uh, Fiz? Alô? Desliga, desliga a chamada aí, amor, por favor. Hã? Desliga a chamada. No Facebook? É. Sim. I should prepare some music. Uh, last time I did that African music. Uh, what should I do this time? Let's see. Uh, fix broken tip. The real reason CB radios are dead. Wow, really? Uh, one hour away. Oh, yeah. See, Florida building collapse rises. Wow, there's that collapse. Nine confirmed dead in Miami area condo. Wow. Okay. Unknown P meets unknown T. What the heck is that? Okay, well, here's this song. Mm. I'm 
Faz mais tanta diferença Oh, vou ficar amanhã Uma do outro Demais, eu digo e ela não acredita. Oh, there it is. Okay. Now I just click add to. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tô bonita. Sucesso. Parece bonito. Fala, Gomas, vai. Hey, people! <risos> Amor, eu tô bonita. Eu me arrumei toda pra live. É, pode, pode escutar si mesmo? Posso. This is good, baby. Good. The problem is, is there's probably going to be an echo if... Huh. Anyway, tell me if there's an echo and uh, also if the lighting is no good. And also, I've got every single fan running because it's hotter than Banjo. Well, it's actually not that hot. It's only s Alexa, weather. I mean, it's only 80. And also tell me if... Tell me if this, let's see, oh, if this is causing too much blindness directly to the camera, and also if it's too loud, the, vo the motor. So we'll see. Okay, but I shall begin with the unboxings, even though we have no viewers. <laughs> I wonder if people don't get notifications if you do stream yard, but although I don't think that affects anything. I think maybe everyone's taking a nap right now. Listen to that detent. Listen to that detent. Listen. I mean, it's so crisp. Okay. So we shall start with the Matt Rose, uh, oh, cool. I thought at first I thought that was a Starbucks logo, but I suppose it isn't. I wonder if that's his own box. This is a great box. I think I'll use it to ship it, ship knives to uh, what you call it to uh, OCD. Okay. You know what? I am going to have to switch to headphones so that I can hear her and she can hear me better. Let's see. Let me grab these. So as you can see, this is an experiment. Uh, where is the jack on this? There it is. Então, pode me escutar? Posso. Tá. Muito bem. Tá bom. Então, o que você uh, perguntei? Which Eu device quero... did you plug in? Você... Fala. Fala. Você mostrou um negócio do Starbucks? Eu não entendi. Não, está bom que não. Parece. Não é não? Nossa, Eu gente, igualzinho. Não. Sim, muito parece, né? Não, demais. Ok. 
So first impressions. I have never seen the Gerber Gator. I wonder if there's a way of making her smaller. Oh yeah, I think there is. Kay Mason, hey there. What? Hey Mason, hello. I was just flipping the, this is the Boker. Okay, this is the special edition uh, Frank Frazetta, uh, the guy that, that uh, created the look for Conan the Barbarian. Um, and uh, uh, what is it? Uh, this is the Queen of the Damned, I think. A ghoul, ghoul King, uh, or maybe this is Ghoul Queen. No, this is Queen of the Damned, isn't it? No, 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 that's the name of the movie. This is Ghoul Queen. And then there's that one Barbarian King, I think, or something like that, that you've seen. Um, uh, AKA Booby Knife. Uh, this is made by Boker, um, and it's um, a front flipper. And yes, I hate front flippers. I don't. I definitely don't get it. I think front flippers are a solution to a problem that you know basically doesn't exist. And um, but the action on it is absolutely incredible. Uh, I'm not very good at it, but sometimes even I can sometimes get it to flick really well. Uh, it this is just 440C. It's called the Excalibur One. It's spelled E X S X. Yeah, E K S K A L I B U R, and then the Roman numeral one. And the regular version is in a premium steel. It's over a hundred bucks. The action is really good. It's a aluminum frame lock. I mean, the action is fantastic. Great detent. I strongly recommend this. Um, although this is this one's sold out, unfortunately. Uh, see, I mean, it flicks out great. Okay. Uh, first impressions of the Gerber Gator. Hold on. I'm going to switch this up here. Let me experiment with different orientations of the screen. What's this one? No. Yes. <laughs> Deixa ela pequena. <laughs> Não, amor. Exalta Sim. você, né? Isso. Wait. No, wait. This. This one. Okay. There we go. Let me. Wrong way. That way. No, wait. That way? This way. Okay. Uh, here's the Gerber Gator. Uh, first impressions. I have never seen this. I've heard a lot about it. I believe Matt Rose in his giveaway was explaining that this was knife of the year. And I think 1991. Um, I know that it's still well regarded today. I suggest that it's not an accident that it's still around. I mean, for a knife designed in 91, for it to still be around is pretty astounding it's just it's just a good solid lockback folder um sort of an updated buck if you will right um because it has modern materials uh lots of people love the grip the only complaint i've seen about the grip is that with with a good amount of hard use the rubberized grip does seem to fall apart or tend to fall apart uh, i wonder whether that's covered by gay uh, gerber's um, warranty, I don't know. Uh, it does come with a, a sheath. She now, here's, here's the thing. A lot of people do not like this. Me included. I mean, you know, us modern guys, right? We like the, po the pocket clip, right? Put it in the pocket. But you know what? Sometimes my pockets are full of junk, especially these days with cell phones and, and you name it. Um, you know, our pockets are kind of jangly as it is, keychains and the like, right? So wearing stuff outside my pockets as much as I can, I, I try to do as much Deixa as I can. Deixa a parada and, pra gente um, ver do outro lado. É spider, uh, oh my God. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Winchester! Hey, Hello, Winchester. my friend. Hey, hey. <laughs> oh, gosh. And then... um. However, what I'm going to say is for outdoor use, hunting, etc., instead of having to 
fiddle around in your pocket for your knife, you really might want it on a belt sheath. I can understand that. In fact, I'm going to go on a, on a big old hike with uh, one of my friends and we're going to go climb Mount Wilson. Um, I am planning on taking this as my EDC because I, you know, I'm afraid of taking a knife and having the clip catch on a, on a, on a branch and get left on the mountain somewhere. I suspect, I suspect this is a much, much, much more secure way of carrying stuff. I suspect it's probably a lot more comfortable to carry any weight on your belt versus dangling around in your pocket, even if it's on a clip. So I really see the logic in this and I can see why this might be preferred by a lot of hunters. If you'll notice in the hunting community, as much as knives are a huge part of hunting, I get the sense that that hunters are not like super like knife nerds are not like super duper hardcore into knives for them. It's just a tool that they need to skin. That's why they tend to uh, shy away from the premium steels and prefer easily field sharpenable steels. That's my sense. And they like belt sheaths. Again, I think for the reason suggested. So here's, here it goes. All right. So it's got a Velcro uh, sheath, which I hate because eventually Velcro wears out. I think you should always go with button. I, I can't stand Velcro. Um, oh yeah, sure. Oh, very, very grippy. Not to mention it would appear that's aftermarket. I suspect he put that on. I'm pretty sure the Gerber Gator does not come with the, what, ah, what are these things called? Oh, it's got a kind of a mini half stop. Very solid lockup, made in the USA, made in Portland, Oregon. Um, beautiful clip point shape. Uh, let's see how, not drop shot. Oh yeah, almost. See, it's got a half stop there. And then it slams shut after that. Look at that. Oh yeah, it's got a pretty good, I guess they do that to save your fingers, right? It slams shut. Centering, yeah, um, definitely favors the left. Um, golly, otherwise, I gotta say, because my expectations for uh, lockbacks are so low, I mean, except for cold steel, I gotta say I like it. Look, here's another thing. Take a look at that. 3D contouring, you know, that's comfortable. That's comfortable in the hand. Um, uh, the, uh, finger, I have large size gloves, so the, yeah, the finger grooves, they work, they work. Uh, are there liners? Oh my God. Is there no liners? Go figure. Okay. So, um, the brigader, pretty sure there's no liners in there. Uh, Nossa, so parece plástico isso. Hey, eu acho que sim. It would uh, appear as though there are no good. metal liners. It's just the plastic. It, it would appear as. Okay. Uh, but I definitely like that. See that snapshot? Watch, guys. Or gals. Uh. Watch. See how much pressure? I mean, it's almost like a second detail. Well, I guess it is a second detail, isn't it? So thanks to the Matt Rose channel. Um, I think that's a cool giveaway, honestly, especially if I get a knife that, frankly, I wouldn't buy with my money. Like, I've been honestly wanting to check out the Gerber Gator because especially that grip is well regarded and it's looked at as a solid hunting knife, especially by the hunting community. Uh, we can't just poo-poo that as knife as knife snobs and just say, ugh, you know, this might be a better solution for a lot of people, especially if you're not like a, a knife flicker. You just want to slow roll your knives. You know, you want to just sort of close your knives like that. You can still one hand it all. So it's not too bad. All right. Let's see. Um, I know what you mean. I was made in 82 and I'm still here. 
Okay, probably they are cheap, so they won't lose too much. And yeah, easy to sharpen, right? Um, Amor, fala. A live está carregando. Você precisa carregando? Você Não, tá eu tô normal aqui com você, porque eu tô na live, mas aqui no ah voltou. A okay. live fica travando. Eu? Voltou. É a live, olha. <coughs> Nossa. Olha, okay, so the... Ainda? Meu? De mim? Aí tem que perguntar aqui no chat. Tá travando para eles? Porque para mim tá. You. Yo, where's the... I can't read that. Where's the stash? <laughs> yeah, um... I was given a challenge. Um, is it crashing? Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, Marianne, uh, Winchester, is it uh, crashing at all? Because Marianne is saying that hers is, uh, is, is spinning or whatever. Yeah, I was challenged to grow um, literally a porn stash. <laughs> And I just, I couldn't, I couldn't say, I couldn't say. What does it mean? Eu não sei, stash? Que que stash é, 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 como se diz, os dois capivaras. Como se diz ah, isso? Ah, tá. Sim. Bi, 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 bigo, uh, bi, bigode? Não. Bigode. 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 É, é, esse se chama bigode pornográfico. Ah, tá. Porque em, 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 ver, em, em uh, filmes pornográficos velhos... Tudo homem tem um, um, um grande uh, bigode, porque bigode. é estilo em, em 70, né? Sim. Uh, there's a lot of... Can you see that? There's a lot of wiggle. So, I mean... But thanks to the... Look at that's how much... Look, that's how much the gator grip has grip. Look, as much as there's room, if you can see that, it's still not falling out. That goes to show you how much... How, how grippy that is. I mean, it is really grippy. Um, I can see how hunters would much, much, much prefer this ultra, ultra grippy uh, grip, grippy grip, um, over having something flickable. As long as they can one hand it, which you can slow roll it, um, I think they much prefer, and you know, a black backlock is more sturdy. And to an entire generation raised on the buck 110, I mean, I think this translates better to that generation of hunter, etc. So, um, yeah, I'm going to EDC this. And the other thing, too, is it is damn light compared to what a buck 110 is like, I don't know, like seven ounces or something ridiculous. I don't, I, I do have a scale. Let's see if it'll, it might be too heavy. Hold on, let me see. Uh, where's my scale? Where did I put my scale? By Hollywood, by Patico, by Hollywood, by Patico. Ooh. It's Fine on my end, great. Thanks, Winchester. Okay. And can you hear the is the music too loud? Or can you hear my fans blowing? Can you hear the motor on this? I don't know what what the mic on my on my laptop is like. Uh furthermore, I don't know where I put my scale. Uh you know, I guess I'll have to return to that next time because I don't remember where I put my scale. I'm I'm still in the midst of properly putting away all my stuff, so it's kind of floating around somewhere. Hold on, maybe it's hmm. up here. How <laughs> did você vá, baby? Ah, uh, eu 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 procuro algumas. Espera. Okay. Uh, Oh, you know what? I think I put it in here, didn't I? No, I guess not. Nossa, Bernardo não para de gritar. 
Sim, ah. mas você precisa ah, falando quando eu... Mas eu já algumas. falei, já fala, fui lá. Vai, vai, fala algumas, para divertir as que... pessoas no live stream, né? Ai. Você tá chata, menina. Ah, eu, eu sou chata, tá... para de bullying comigo. Ei, silêncio, rapaz. Oxi. Okay, well, I did lose track of my scale for the time being. Um, I'll have to whip it out later. It's here somewhere. I know it is. Não sou chata, não, viu? Eu sou super legal. I am not speaking English. Aí fica difícil, entendeu? <laughs> Aí fica difícil. Eu posso cantar uma música para entreter o público. Musiquinhas que toca o coração. <risos> Por que, que você tem que levantar, cara? Por que, que você não deixa tudo na mão? Incrível, incrível. Cadê esse povo? É Winchester, where are you? <risos> where are you? Cameso. Uh, hey, people. Not sleeping. Ninguém responde também. Acho que eu sou chata mesmo. Você tá chata. <laughs> okay, so here's a little update. Do you remember, if you guys remember from a couple broadcasts ago, the little the little horse look at how much it shrank already so let's see let's do a, a size comparison next to the gator and next to the pm2 okay next to the uh next to the smock oops and acredito que você levantou para procurar esse 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 unicórnio So, uh, smock, ikuchi. So, let's remember what size it is, because I'm going to redunk it in some water, and we shall see uh, how well it does. Um, so, let's get to the other unboxings. Uh, we'll use the Gerber Gator to do the unboxing. Um, any votes? I, I say we do this one. This is one I'm excited about. This one here. Nossa, curiosa para saber o que, que você comprou. Tan, 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 tan. Okay, so I got this at Ross on clearance for 10 bucks. So five in one grilling multi-tool. Um, Essential for tailgating and camping out. Griller Ultra is called. Protocol. This I have that same uh, really cheap, really cheap uh, multi-tool, which is really not that great, frankly. So let's see what they offer here. Nossa. Eu vou matar que eu vou matar esse menino. Let's 
tough being one-handed. Uh-oh, here we go. Uh, so, here is how I severed my uh, zip ties are my enemy because that's how I severed my thumb. See, hey, this is this clip point. That This is what clip points are great for. Look at that. You know, I didn't have to kill myself and tear out my tendon again. Okay, here we are. Here it is. Okay, so here we go. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Here's the unboxing. Bam. <laughs> Oops. Wait, can you see it? Yeah. Here. Nossa. Okay. Wait, here. No, this way. Okay. So that's the spatula part. Let's see what else we got here. There's the basting brush. So let's put this back. There's the basting brush. And it's silicon, so that should last. Uh, next, we've got the whatever, the fork. And it's got some rubber guards there, so that's good. Um, very useful. It's got a cap lifter uh, slash, uh, you know, this is that style uh, waiters. It's called a waiters tool. That's what it's called. A waiter's tool where you use where you use this to uh, leverage the wine cork the, the cork out. So you put you put that on the edge of the glass and you leverage up this way. Isso é prático, né? É. And let's see. I believe that's it. Here's what's interesting. I just realized. I mean. It's actually, there's no knife, I believe. So that's that's kind of interesting. Yeah, I believe there's no knife. Yeah, it, it is cool. Sorry, yeah, in the background. Charles doesn't stop blowing me up, right? Okay. So, yeah, I think it's cool. I originally got this for my BFF's uh, husband because he's always grilling for us when I go over there. But he actually has, you know, obviously has all these uh, tools. And I realized I don't have any. So I'm going to go camping soon. So I, I'm going to need my own stuff. So I think I'm going to hold on to this. <laughs> I'm selfish. Uh, oh, well. Oh, okay. Here we go. Griller Ultra. Spatula basting brush. Beer soda bottle opener. Fork, corkscrew, wine key. Wine key. Hold on a second. Is that what they call it? A wine key? Okay. Well, they call it a wine key. Joins together to form a single compact unit for easy storage. Five and one. One, two, three, four, five. So one two three four five okay there it is okay pretty cool all right so that needs a sheath that needs a sheath so let's see yeah i'm gonna Olha, find a sheath for that. eu posso falar é assim, geralmente mulheres que, que geralmente são mulheres que cozinham, né? Você não cozinha nada. <risos> Mas tipo assim, eu achei ele muito muito robusto para tipo assim, é mais para homens mesmo, porque para para gente mulher que tem a mão muito delicada, sim, sim, mas, é horrível para poder cozinhar. Mas em Brasil também provavelmente a uh, uh, gri, uh, como se diz, com com, com fogo abrir para 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 uh, para 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 carne isso sim, é, é, é sim, homem para grelhar é? sim é sim e por isso é robusto ok uh -huh. so so she's asking hey uh, usually it's women who cook but look at that handle that looks a little bit robust what's the deal and I said hey look probably in Brazil as well it may it may be true that oftentimes uh, most cooking is often done by women. I mean, less and less so these days, but, you know, traditionally. Um, but I said, however, isn't grilling often done by men? 
So I suspect that this is definitely geared towards men. Uh, the little bit of cooking that men fairly regularly do do is grilling, as I understand it. So, um, okay. So I think this is cool as heck. It's very heavy. So, I mean, it's meant for camping as well, but yeah, something that you want. That's, that's, that's glamping right there. That's for glam camping. Okay, but let's go ahead and if you guys are okay with it, want to do the para hatchet? I kill you both. Okay, let's see. Me gusta. Machado. Safety first, guys. I'm going to cut towards myself because. Tá todo mundo tão quieto hoje. Nossa senhora, desânimo, gente. Tá vendo, amor? Porque você é chato. Eu sou chato. Você é insuportável. Eu sou chato. <risos> é. Ai, pronto, começou os fogos de artifício. Eu dormi por um minuto. Okay. Well, sorry, Winchester. I'm sorry I'm boring you. But, uh, Winchester! Yeah. Ele é muito... Como é que fala? Você é chato em inglês. Boring. Winchester, Charlie is boring. Boring. Não sei como é que pronuncia essa merda. Isso, oh, isso. Shit. É correto. Here we go. I got it. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, they did a pretty good job on these, on these point guards there, so... It's got a toothy edge. Um, it's got a very thin grind, so it might be actually good for like even feather sticking. Let me think. Yeah, yeah, I think this would be good for feather sticking. Uh, it's got these wrenches. I don't. I mean, I don't know what the point of that is. Um, paracord is always insufficient in shock absorption. Uh, let's see. The. Yep. Uh, good length for the paracord so they can really choke back and swing so that might be somewhat usable for that um, uh, that's a cord cutter in the back there right here right there cord cutter uh, yeah I mean I, I like this orange color that UST uses you know why not okay next you got this traçado da da do machado. Lembra essas cordinhas que você vai traçando? Isso. Pequeno? É. é, não, amor. Do cabo do outro machado. É isso daí. Mas só que é, é, é como forma de cabo. Yes. Mas na, na faca. No cabo da faca. Ah, é você... Então. Isso. 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 O outro pequeno de madeira. Amor, há outro machado. Da madeira? Machado, amor. Você acabou de mostrar o laranja. Diz orange. Ah, isso? É. Esse trançado aí. 
Ou não é trançado de corda? O que é sobre corda? What? Não machado, amor. Do, What's do, the little do guy? Cabo. Okay. The little ah. guy here is called the, uh, the pocket chopper. Now, the funny thing is, is they call it the pocket chopper, but what I find strange about that is, is that really a chopper or is that just a regular old skinner? I mean, right? When you put your finger through that, wouldn't you want to skin with that? Look at that. It's perfectly designed for skinning. So why they call this a pocket chopper? I, I think it's good marketing. Don't get me wrong, because I got it because I thought of it as a as a <laughs> miniature, miniature, miniature micro axe. But I, I don't know. I mean, even if you choke back on it, I guess you could do some chopping with it. You know, if you use the lanyard like this. So, yeah, I guess you could do some chopping with it. Um, it's from a company called Old Forge. It's called a pocket chopper. Very inexpensive. Uh, it's of uh ofo 42 or i guess of 042 um uh it's got this kind of texture to it uh and i you know i spin it like this i got it you know like it's a fidget spinner um uh it's adorable i i love things that are just tiny and adorable i mean why not right me gusta one. Me gusta. Oh, one minute. Hi. Okay. So that is. Hey, one minute. Let me know if you want to join the broadcast. Um, I'll post the link again. Here. Let's see. Paste. Yeah, anyone who wants to join, let me know. I can go up to 10 people. Uh, ooh, I'm running out of time. I need to be on a meeting in, right now. Uh, so let me hurry up and get through this. So it comes with this fire steel. And with a little snack. And this is the sheath for it. And let's. So it looks like there's a Velcro here. And this is going to go in there like that. Let's see. Is that it all the way? Hmm. Mm, there we go. You have to really get it seated in there. Assuming that's in all the way. Why does it seem like it's not in there right? Well, anyway, I don't know how tight this is going to be, though. Seems like it's going to be. <coughs> mm -hmm. Okay, like that. And then you got your belt loop here, which I don't know how sturdy that's going to be. It's definitely not double stitch, so that's a bit risky. Uh, you, this could very well end up on the trail. So, I mean, I'd almost rather put a carabiner through there. And dangle it from like a belt loop or something. So there's that. Bye, Mason. Mason. Bye. Thanks for joining in. I gotta go as well. Have a good one. Talk to you later. Yeah, thanks for joining in. And um, yeah, uh, I'll do these live streams, try and do them more regularly as well. Uh, definitely have more to unbox here. Okay, here's another unboxing. I got this thing for my car because I'm getting very frustrated with trying to charge stuff with a uh, with one of those uh, car plugs and um, and a USB and stuff. It's just driving me crazy, and I want to be able to use regular appliances too. So I have a battery, you know, one of those jump start things, but 
it just doesn't work very well. So I'm hoping this one might work better. So we shall see. However, if you can take a look at these connections, I mean, these will connect directly, literally directly to a battery charger. Although I'm hoping it has the car adapter port. Tempo, 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 tempo. Na, 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 na. Tempo, 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 tempo. É uma luta para abrir. Go tático, go tático. Oh. Isso é tipo um transformador, né? É, para carro. Hum. Assim você vai poder o quê? Carregar é, tipo celular, essas coisas? Ah, sim. Fazer chupeta? E, e, e usa, e usa. Ah, sim. Aham. Uh -huh. Tá, para carregador, sim. So, you Good. know, this could be cool to have uh, like a refrigerator, for example, like a mini fridge. Yep. There we go. Has the car adapter. So this is good. It's golden. Uh, it's a keeper. So as you can see, it's... And you know, um, with these clamps, you could literally go ahead and get like a mini, like a motorcycle battery or something, you know? And keep that in the car just to run stuff and charge stuff. So... Um... Oh, you take it off? Oh, okay. No, never mind. Uh, Mason is. Okay, so... I don't know anything about this company called Peak. I got this at Ross for 15 bucks. I don't know if that's a good um, a good price. Uh, each, 25 amps. There's fuses. Okay, input, 12 volts. Uh, maximum continuous output is 400 watts. Output is 60 hertz, 120 back. So, I mean, I don't know. It looks pretty standard to me. And then it's got a little inputs there. So, and it, you know, it's got the intake vents, the fan to keep it cool. Uh, uh, it's got one USB charger, which, yeah, it's not a lot, but, um, you know, hey, I think this is going to serve me. And it's light. That's the other thing, too. My, uh, my quick charge thing is heavier than a banshee. Okay, uh, last. No, not ball. Well, almost last. Penultimate. Tactical. One minute. I think you want this. Uh, I think you want this. I think you want this. Oh, okay. First of all, it's polyester. I thought it was going to be fabric. It's just, it's all nylon. So I'm not sure. I was expecting it to be cotton or canvas, but it's full on, which means if a flame comes up, it's going to melt. So this is uh, strange, to say the least. Very, 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 very strange. 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 Um, so... It's the tactical barbecue thing. So these are meant for, I'm assuming, beer bottles. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So you can fit an entire six-pack across your chest. So that's kind of cool. It's got a loop with a can opener. Sorry, I'm off screen. So. Ai, cara, isso é muito legal, esse avental. Que a gente chama de avental. And then this is for your sauces, like ketchup and mustard or, or mayo, if you prefer, plus pockets for your uh, your uh, tools. As a matter of fact, here we go. 
Coloca Olá. ele, amor, no corpo e mostra. Sério? Sim, ué. Não, mas aí você tem que ficar. <risos> oh, a moça é tão desorganizada. <risos> oh, ok. This is actually attached by a carabiner. So this can actually be taken off. Ah. This is not bad, actually. The the bottle opener and carabiner are actually not too bad. But as you can see, it's this material. Uh, spark hits that, I mean, that's definitely going to melt. So I'm not too sure about the the, the makesmanship. Makesmanship? Workmanship? I don't know what do you, what do you call that. Anyway, so there's that. I mean, you could turn this into a tarp, I guess. <laughs> you needed to build a shelter. I don't know. This is on a continuous string with the neck loop. So when you tighten it around you, when you tie it around you, it'll actually raise it up on your on your chest. So I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Not too sure how that would work exactly. But anyway, so there's that. Uh, what else have we got to? Oh, okay, so we've done the tactical. Sorry. Yes, the <laughs> para hatchet, the Gerber Gator. The I. power converter, the grill master, or whatever you call that, um, and I guess we can do um, oh, we could do the Elkridge. Should we do the Elkridge? This is a duplicate. I got, the, I think, the green micarta one. And I think this one is just like regular old plastic, which is too bad. And they were the same price. They were both on sale, but they had the inferior material first. So I got that. And then I had to get the, the better one later. So, yeah, this is... Oh, well, you know what? It's not inferior. It's, it's wood. Um, obviously, micarta is literally better than anything else, in my opinion. So there it is. Elk Ridge Bushcraft. It says uh, so nameless stainless steel. Uh, custom custom design. I mean, what does that even mean? Custom design. Oh, it's it's faux wood. Do you hear that rattle? I don't know that I like that. Isso, isso não é madeira, né? Não é madeira, é plástico. Uh -huh. so, so, só de você fazer esse, esse barulho, eu já sei. Sim. It's hollow, which is actually interesting. Maybe you can fit survival gear in there. Maybe I'll do an episode on that. Um, it's got an edge on it. Um, what else have we got here? Uh comes with a fire steel and a sharpening a pretty crappy looking sharpening steel or whatever um there's the fire steel and uh striker Oh, ai, o meu sonho é, fazer, é brincar com isso. <risos> Ih, não tá, tá funcionando, não. There we go. Uh -huh. Okay, let me not set my room on fire, but... These scraper things are really... Look at that. Oh, okay. A little bit. I mean, use the back of the blade. What the hell are you going to use a scraper for? It's 
dumb. Anyway, whatever. So there's that. And like that. Uh, looks like you can scout carry, which is pretty cool. Although, why are they so differently sized? Oh, one's on the outside, one's on the... I see why. Okay. Uh, but yeah, definitely you can scout carry. As well as, yeah, belt carry. And then they've got the Velcro so that you can... You don't have to take your belt off, although... Yeah. And then it's got a plastic insert. So let's see. Is it reversible? Yeah, it is. It's going to be... There we go. Yeah, it's reversible. Although, typically, if you're right-handed, I guess you do it like that. Okay, and then, let's see. Reten oh, retention is not. Okay. <laughs> so, you definitely, Hi, need definitely need that. But otherwise, uh, with that button in there, as you can see, it does come out somewhat. So, anyway, so there's, there's that. So, I, I can show you the comparison with the other one, if you guys would like. Although... I'm gonna have to end this pretty soon because I'm running. I'm already late for my meeting. Um, the final thing. Hold on. E vamos de musiquinha que toca o coração. Na 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 na. E ele vai, ele vem. É o Charles do Bem Bem. Aí, meu povo, não tá fácil para ninguém. <risos> Ai, que saco, ninguém apareceu. Tá todo mundo indo trabalhar, todo mundo dormir. Poxa. Ok, so, hopefully, Jason, you'll be able to see this. Here's the update on the little flying unicorn. I mean, I wish they De were <laughs> So this is the thing that you dunk in water. Um, and uh, as you can see, it's already shrinking. So I'm going to redunk this. Mm -hmm. And version two, I went back to the dollar store. Oh, no, no, no. This is from Ross. This is this was $3. So go figure. Better be three times. $3. See. Chique. Aí tem que ficar quantos dias na água? É, dois dias? Uh, isso. Uh, é. Quatro dias. Nossa. Sim. Let's see. Uh, this one already seems more sophisticated than the than the last one because it looks like it comes with its own carrying case. So I would say this is a three times better. This is definitely an upgrade. I'm gonna I'm gonna call this an upgrade. So here's the packaging. It's called Hatchable hatch, hatch, Hatchimals. So hatch an animal, a portmanteau. Collectibles. Ha <laughs> ha. Season four. Twelve to collect and collectioner. Collectioner. Okay, whatever. Um, sold separately. Rue the heart for color change. What the frick is? Oh, rub. Hello. Rub the heart for color change? Are you serious? This heart? No way, for real? For real? Is it changing color? Is it heat sensitive? I don't know. Hey, Alex. Alex. <laughs> Serio? Alex. Uh -huh. I don't see it. Hi, Alex. Okay, so yeah, it comes in these little cases. So here we go. Open it on one side. Oh, hey, Alex. Okay, so you open it there. Okay. Oh, um cocôzinho. See? She's like, uh, this looks like a little piece of poop, which is true. Look. It's like a little poop. Here's the heart. Is this what you're supposed to rub? To see a change? No, I don't think so. Yes. 
Okay, well, it definitely comes with kind of a a nice, neat little carrying case. I hope afterwards you're able to put it back in there. But mm -hmm. so let's see. It should come with instructions. What does it say to do? Oh yeah, here we go. Here are the instructions. Okay, so let's see. First of all, collect them all. Look. Collect them all. All right, you know what? I need to turn off the lights. You. Okay. Shall I read them in French? Tiens-moi. Tiens-le. Don't le mains. Okay. Hold the egg in your hands. Rub part. When it changes from purple to pink, it's ready to hatch? Are you serious? Tip. The speckles on the egg tell you which family it's from. Hatch. Gently press above the heart with your thumb to crack. Continue pushing until the egg top can be removed. Play. To take your hatchimal collectible out of the egg, remove the remaining eggshell pieces above the perforated line, dispose of them, and the clear plastic inside. Tip. The bottom of the egg can be used as a nest. Oh, frick. Okay. Can you guys see that? Okay, so... Rub? Are you serious? This cannot be true. What does rubbing have to do with opening the egg? Is it supposed to create heat? Is it changing color? Hold on. No, it's not. Wait, come on. This cannot be for real. Oh, wait. Okay, hold the egg in your hands. Rub the heart. When it changes from purple to pink... It's ready to hatch from purple to pink. Okay. Are you kidding? Ai, que chique. Is it pink? Oh! Oh! <laughs> Look at that. E agora? Okay, it really did work. Oh, velho, isso é muito interessante. Oh, oh my God. nasceu. It's a unicorn. I wonder if it glows in the dark. Let's find out. É tão like... pequenininho. Okay, let's see if he glows. No, it doesn't glow. Ai, tem que deixar fixado. Yeah. Okay, well, maybe I'll hatch the other one later. I'm not going to hatch it now. Anyway, I'm going to dunk, redunk him. So let's once again do a size comparison. So here's the size comparison. Here's the size comparison. Um, so. So, okay. Ai, faz nosso filho nascer, hein, meu filho? <laughs> <laughs> Sim, filho de, de, de rocha. De rocha, dentro do seu cu. <laughs> Sim. Sim. Parece um cocôzinho mesmo. Yeah. yeah, she's saying it looks like little pieces of poo. So these are our, our little our little children. New channel hatching hatchables. Yep. New pizza hatchables. Oh, you knew about these? Oh. 
I give you a link on Facebook. Okay, so yeah, you have a video that needs comments. Okay, uh, let me go ahead and check that out, Alex, and see what you want. Yes or no? Alex, faz giveaway para nós, Alex. <laughs> Eu quero ganhar facas, Alex. I'll give you a link on Facebook. Okay. So, yeah. Anyway, I, I think I'll just hatch that later. Um, but I'll do a reveal on the next video. But I need to go. Uh, I, I need to go. It's done. Bye-bye. I need to go. Not up yet. Oh, okay. You haven't put it up yet. I see. Okay, so here's the comparison. These are the same knife. Okay, these are these Elk Ridge Bushcraft knives. Extremely cheap. I mean, we're talking, I think it was like 10, 12 bucks. I mean, very, very cheap. They're identical. Uh, this is this weird plastic something. And now I, I was thinking this was my car, uh, it was my car, but it's actually, it's G10. I believe it is actually G10. It feels actually it doesn't feel like G10 at all. It feels more like feels much more like plastic. I don't think that's wood, is it? Well, it's not like pocket wood and stuff either. Let's see, is it like this? No, this is metal. This is probably aluminum. Okay, anyway, that's it, guys. Uh, what is this? This is the outdoorsman light, isn't it? Yeah, outdoorsman light. And this is the Schrade machete. They call it a machete, but it's really not. It's the SCH OM6 with debatable heat treat. Apparently, Schrade does sometimes get their heat treat quite well done. And other times, not. Okay. So, we'll deal with those later. Okay. All right. Fala ciao. Bye bye. Okay. Good night or good day. Well, good evening. And I guess we'll see you guys for OCD for EDC later on. Have a Gerber machete. Oh, you do? You have the Gerber machete, the, the full size or the junior? I almost want to get the junior just for the heck of it. Yeah, Alex. <laughs> Yeah, well, you can you can rewatch it. Anyway, I got to take off. So, see you guys. Thanks for tuning in. I believe do I hit move studio or end broadcast. Here we go. End broadcast.